My name is Sienna Castellan. I'm an 18-year-old neurodiversity advocate, a published author of two books, and the founder of Neurodiversity Celebration Week. I'm incredibly excited that your school has decided to take part in celebrating neurodiversity. I am autistic. I also have dyslexia, dyspraxia, and ADHD. The condition sometimes makes school challenging for me. But what was most challenging was being teased and bullied at school for being different from everyone else. When I found out that it's common for children with special educational needs to be made fun of and bullied, I decided to change this. I created Neurodiversity Celebration Week because I think it's important to accept people who are different from you and that we should celebrate and embrace each other's strengths and differences. So, what is neurodiversity? Have you ever noticed that everyone has a different way of thinking and processing information? No one brain is the same. Neurodiversity is based on the idea that everyone has a differently wired brain, which means that everyone has their own unique way of thinking, learning and experiencing the world. Neurodiversity is about recognizing, accepting, and respecting that we don't all learn the same way. Since each of your brains are wired differently, you may struggle to do things that others find easy. You may also find things easy that other people struggle with. In other words, we each have our own difficulties and challenges and our own individual talents and strengths. Some people's brains are wired extra differently than everyone else. This can cause them to have even more unique ways of thinking, learning, interacting, and perceiving the world. These differences have been given labels, such as ADHD, autism, dyslexia, dyspraxia, and Tourette's syndrome. About 4% of the population have ADHD. ADHD can make being in school challenging because it affects a person's ability to focus. It can cause difficulties in paying attention, hyperactivity, and impulsiveness. However, people with ADHD can be some of the most creative members of a team. They often bring a lot of energy, enthusiasm, and new approaches to their projects. A lot of very successful people have ADHD. For example, astronaut Scott Kelly has flown on four space missions. But when he was at school, he had a very hard time focusing. As a result, he didn't do very well on his exams. It wasn't until he read a book about space and decided he wanted to be an astronaut that he was motivated to study hard and become a better student. The lesson he learned is to never give up on yourself. Find something or someone that you're passionate about and use this to help motivate you. About 2% of the population is autistic. Autism affects how a person perceives the world and interacts in socializing with others, making it difficult for them to pick up on social cues and interpret social rules. Autistic people are very sensitive to light, noise, touch, and smells, which can sometimes cause them distress. When I was at school, I found my uniform really scratchy, the lights too bright and the playground noise too loud. This sometimes caused me to get overwhelmed. People on the autistic spectrum are highly logical and good at absorbing and remembering facts, attention to detail, and recognizing patterns. Many of the greatest scientists like Einstein and Newton were autistic. Climate change activist Greta Thunberg is autistic. She says that her autism is a gift because it makes her different and it helps her see things in black and white when it comes to tackling climate change. About 10% of the population are dyslexic. Dyslexia is a language processing difficulty that can make it challenging to read, write, and spell. It can cause problems with processing information quickly, organizational, organization, sequencing, spoken language, and motor skills. When I was at school, I used to struggle with spelling. I would never have imagined that when I was 16 years old, I would write a book, let alone a best-selling book that would win an award. So if you're dyslexic and struggle at school, don't be discouraged. Dyslexic people can be very good at creative thinking, problem solving, storytelling, and verbal communication. 
about 35% of entrepreneurs, people who start their own businesses, are dyslexic. For example, Jamie Oliver, Richard Branson, Sir Alan Sugar, and Joe Malone. Many believe their dyslexic thinking is the key to their success. About 6% of the population are dyspraxic. Dyspraxia affects your physical coordination. Dyspraxic individuals are often seen as extremely clumsy because they often trip or bump into people and things and drop items. I was always covered in bruises from falling and bumping into things. Dyspraxia can affect your fine motor skills, such as your handwriting, ability to tie your shoes and do up your buttons. It can also affect your gross motor skills, such as catching and kicking a ball, running, jumping, swimming, and riding a bike. Dyspraxia can also affect your ability to organize yourself. People who are dyspraxic often misplace their belongings and can be forgetful. Many dyspraxic children dislike PE class and sport because their clumsiness sometimes causes others to laugh and make fun of them. I stopped going to sport days because I was always lost in every race and my teammates would get really angry with me. If you know someone who is dyspraxic, you can help them by not judging and laughing at them, not being good at sport. Instead, be understanding and supportive. Distract dyspraxic people are creative, determined and really good at developing their own strategies to overcome difficulties. Harry Potter actor Daniel Radcliffe is dyspraxic. His dyspraxia didn't hold him back, even though the Harry Potter role involved a lot of physical activity. About 1% of the population have Tourette's syndrome. Tourette's syndrome causes sudden, uncontrolled, repetitive muscle movement and sounds called tics. Tics can get worse depending on the situation. For example, stressful situations can make the tics more frequent, longer, and more severe. Just like autistic students, students with Tourette's are frequently bullied at school. Studies have shown that people with Tourette's syndrome are faster at assembling sounds into words, phonology. They are also often high achieving, creative and empathetic. Billie Eilish, who is currently one of the most successful singers and songwriters in the world, has Tourette's syndrome. One of the benefits of having special educational needs is that you become a lot more resilient and determined to overcome your difficulties and challenges. These are valuable life skills that are major ingredients of being successful in whatever you decide to do. Neurodiversity Celebration Week is about celebrating the strengths and talents of people who are autistic and people with learning differences. Sadly, students who are different are often teased and bullied for their differences. Neurodiversity Celebration Week is one way of reminding everyone of the importance of being kind, tolerant and accepting of everybody, especially classmates who are autistic or have ADHD. About 70% of autistic students report being bullied. You can make a huge difference in an autistic student's life if you stand up for them and treat them with kindness, understanding and compassion. Neurodiversity Celebration Week is also about recognizing the hard work, resilience, and determination of special educational needs students, something that is often taken for granted and overlooked. The school environment is not ideal for students with special educational needs to use, showcase, and highlight their unique strengths and talents. Schools mostly focus on skills some students find difficult and may not naturally excel at, such as reading, writing, and spelling. If schools had classes that focused on creativity, thinking outside the box and innovation, STEM students would be among the top students in the class. Having to work so much harder than most students can be very frustrating and discouraging, especially because STEM students often work really, really hard to compensate for their challenges, and sometimes their effort goes unnoticed. Neurodiversity Celebration Week serves as a reminder that no matter what our differences and challenges are, everyone has their own strengths and talents. Many people who have ADHD, autism, dyslexia, dyspraxia, or Tourette's syndrome 
and struggled at school and now incredibly successful. Many believe that their unique way of thinking and perceiving the world around them was the key to their success. There are currently more than 1,100 schools and more than 700,000 students taking part in Neurodiversity Celebration Week around the world. So what can you do to help? The best way you can help is by treating other people the way you would like to be treated. Don't tease or make fun of anyone in your class who is different or find something difficult. Think about how you would feel if someone did this to you. Instead, be kind, understanding, and encouraging. Never forget that you have the power to make a positive difference to someone who may be having a difficult time. Thank you for celebrating Neurodiversity Celebration Week. <laughs>